What happened inside the nuclear reactors at the time of the accident? First, let's take a look at how energy is produced inside a nuclear reactor. A nuclear reactor is like a huge kettle. Water is boiled to generate steam, which activates turbines that generate electricity. Nuclear plants rely on nuclear energy instead of fire to boil water. The energy inside a nuclear reactor like the ones at Fukushima Daiichi is so great it can evaporate 700 kettles of water in just one second. Nuclear energy is generated by splitting atoms of uranium in a process called nuclear fission. 95% of that energy is kinetic while the remaining 5% is radioactive. Kinetic energy can be instantly converted into electricity with a turbine. In case of an emergency, this process can be stopped immediately. But radioactive energy is the result of a chemical reaction that cannot be stopped. It continues generating heat. That's why nuclear reactors need to be constantly cooled with significant amounts of water. If nuclear fuel is no longer cooled, its radioactive energy becomes uncontrollable. Steam reacts with materials covering the fuel rods and produces hydrogen inside the reactor. To prevent an excessive accumulation of hydrogen, the reactors need to be opened to allow some of the gas to escape. This process is called venting. Failure to carry out this operation can trigger a violent explosion. The amount of radioactive substances in one ton of spent nuclear fuel is so great that if it were diluted in 10 million Olympic swimming pools, the water would still be undrinkable a thousand years from now. For years, TEPCO and regulators claimed nuclear plants were safe from accidents because of the three-way safety system of shutdown, cooling and containment. But Fukushima Daiichi lost all its power supply and with it the ability to keep the reactors cool and free of hydrogen. Had contingency plans taken into account a possible accident and included detailed evacuation plans, the impact of the crisis could have been lessened. Luckily, two other nuclear plants in the area, Onagawa and Tokai Daini, did not lose their power supply. But the situation could have been much worse under different weather and tidal conditions. Nuclear reactors produce tremendous amounts of energy, and nuclear accidents result in equally tremendous consequences.